elected in a landslide as WA's 30th Premier in 2017. Returned with an even greater margin four years later. And I promise we won't let Western Australia down. Mark McGowan's personal profile exploded during the pandemic as West Australians overwhelmingly swung behind his hard border. While the rest of the country endured COVID restrictions, West Australians were able to go about their business largely unaffected. There's, no, there's nothing wrong with going for a run. There's nothing wrong with going for a run and having a kebab. Soaring to a 91% approval rating, Mr McGowan wasn't afraid to take on his critics. I'd say to Mr Palmer, listen to the Prime Minister, listen to me, uh, listen to Mr Cormann, but most of all, listen to West Australians. They don't want you to do this. Born in New South Wales in 69, Mark McGowan joined the Labor Party in the 80s, inspired by former Prime Minister Bob Hawke. Good luck, mate. Studying in Queensland before heading west as a lawyer for the Navy, based at HMAS Stirling. Settling in Rockingham, he got his start in politics on the local council. It's also where he met his wife Sarah and where they raised their three children. He was elected to state parliament in 1996 and was parliamentary secretary to Jeff Gallup and later education minister under Premier Alan Carpenter. Bounce the ball on the left. In 2012, Mark McGowan took on the role of opposition leader. After one failed bid to become premier, he pulled it off the second time around, pinning everything on his plan to transform Perth's rail system into Metronet. I came here 27 years ago in my Corolla across the Nullarbor and today, and today the people of Western Australia have made me Premier. Thank you. He appointed himself Treasurer in 2021, delivering record surpluses for WA. There we are. On the back of the GST deal and booming commodity prices. When I was elected as Premier, I had ambitions for our state. I wanted Western Australia to become the strongest, most successful state in the nation. He says he steps away confident this is the case. James Carmody, ABC News.